Dark Souls 3. But I only use a button. The rules I have set for myself for this run are, I am only allowed to use the starting bow, and that is it. No other bows, no other weapons, no consumables, nothing. I will not be making use of any save states, so if I run out of arrows, I'm gonna have to farm for souls to get them. I'm playing with a poorly translated mod, so when you hear and see things like this, the, fast, the two genders, oh. <laughs> Canada and women. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> That's why. First up, we got Gundir. He's not honestly too hard, but the thing is you only get 30 arrows when you start a new game, and it takes about 24 to kill him. So if you miss just a couple arrows, you gotta go back to the character creator screen. I was able to get it done in three attempts, so honestly, yeah, not that bad. Next up is Vort. Honestly, not too hard of a boss either. His AI does this thing where it just loves to walk slowly towards you as it allows you to pelt the shit out of it with arrows. And that's a thing that kind of happens a lot with the, the later bosses in this game. And you can tell that their AI was not programmed to deal with being pelted by bows and shit. Oh, you want to want to gamble with me? What do you mean? Does he live or die? Don't. You gotta save him. You're doing like three times this game. Oh shit! The only challenge for this boss is having to aim in first person the whole time. on the way to Yajia. Here is the gap jungle. Behind the I'm gonna get jungle gapped? Fuck, man. And that's exactly what happened. This boss sucks. I hate it in the normal game, just cause it's a mid boss in my opinion. But your firepower doesn't match his at all. You're out, you're out fired here, 100%. He's casting crystals and laser beams at you and all you got is an arrow. It gets so frustrating when he summons clones of himself, because 
there's just too much happening. You're just getting your ass beat left and right every time you turn around. And of course, every time you find him when there's clones, you get to shoot him once and then he just teleports away and then resummons all the clones again. It was a very frustrating fight and I got my ass kicked way more times than I'm willing to admit. The Deacons weren't really that big of a problem. With them, it's more of a race against time more than anything. Because I don't know if you know this, because I didn't know this, but if you take too long in the fight, they will start to curse you. I never knew this. I got a little too close for comfort, but I was able to get out in the nick of time, and I beat it on my first attempt.
now we got Abyss Watchers. Abyss Watchers were a lot less hard than I thought they were going to be. Most of my strategy pretty much just involved waiting until the other ones popped out, and then I would just run away while they fought each other, and just let them do the damage for me. And then in Phase 2, it's just dodge roll, shoot, dodge roll, shoot, rinse, repeat. It's not too complicated. Oh, this game's so fucking loud. Dark, dark what? Dark Brandon. Just it. I don't know what that is. Look at this. Why am I locked on and running, but aiming over there? Waldner was incredibly easy, and I got him my first try. But, I learned two things I didn't know that could happen. The first thing is, he can summon skeletons that attack you. Never seen that before. 
And the second thing is he can push you all the way up to the top of the stage and like have your back against the wall. I've never had that happen to me. Like I didn't know that was a thing that could happen. After beating Walner, I head back to the Road of Sacrifices so I can pick up my favorite weapon in the game, the Irithyll Straight Sword. I've used this sword every time I've played the game, it's the only weapon that I use. And even though I'm not using it, I just wanted to have it on me because I, I like the weapon, alright? And now we fight Pontiff. He's like one of the few bosses in this game that aren't completely immune to poison or toxic. He is resistant to it. But I figured I might as well just, you know, give poison arrows a shot. Because after being bullied by him like seven times in a row, I was like, I gotta try something else out. So I did use the poison arrows. They did not proc. I have no idea how many of these things it takes to poison this dude, but I guess I didn't have enough. Why did I?
And right here is where I remember that rings are in the game. That could probably help boost my damage. So I go and get the Leo ring. I get Flynn's ring. I get the Hawk ring. And I didn't record it, but I got Lloyd's sword ring. I then did what any sane Ashman would do and got completely naked. Look at that damage increase. And with our newfound damage numbers, we're off to fight Aldrich. I didn't struggle on this boss too long. It only took me three attempts. But I will say there is a lot of just running around and waiting for an opportunity to attack. Later on in the fight, I realized that if you get close to her, it gets kind of free. But it did take me until this attempt to kind of realize that. And now we get to the boss that I was dreading the entire run. Yorm the Giant. This dude has 27,822 HP, and he's immune to poison. My arrows on a body shot did 87 damage. You could lock onto his head for like 200, but getting the headshots were very inconsistent for my first several, several tries, so this happened.
Ah. No! Ah. Oh. I'm gonna. That hurts so bad. I want to f***ing die. So yeah, I went to bed after all that. <laughs> but this left me with a new problem. I was now out of arrows. So what I did is I went and I grabbed the Silver Serpent Ring for maximum soul farming efficiency. And then I found a spot that's right after the Abyss Watchers boss and the Catacombs of Karthus. And I equipped the Silver Serpent Ring and I ran this area about like 20 times. And now with a full night's rest and an inventory chock full of arrows, I was ready to take on Yorm one more time. That other shot you just had also somehow with, I don't know how. Like, it's... It's a weird take. You know? He's like getting headshots or... Getting shit on right now. All in all, the dancer fight was probably one of my more favorite fights in this run. I don't know if it's because my bow was like turbo upgraded and I was super leveled up, but the fight just felt like good with the bow. All the other fights, it felt like I wasn't actually doing damage, but my bow was doing pretty good damage in this fight. So for the most part, it just felt like I was doing the boss normally, just with a different weapon. I was streaming the fight to some friends, so... I hope you enjoy some color commentary while I beat this boss. I probably shouldn't do that. I can't be good for you. <laughs> you do it all the time. That's not true. It's just not true. It's not an uncommon occurrence. It's not... Well, okay. Well, I wouldn't say it's not uncommon. It is it very is uncommon. But it does happen. It, I will admit it. It's not common. It's definitely not... Un it's like a... Not rare. That's for sure. Yeah, it's definitely not a rare. When's the last time I did it? Like two weeks ago. That's just not true. I'm pretty sure it was. I haven't drank anything in two weeks. That is such bullshit. That's wrong. <laughs> That's completely wrong. I'm pretty sure the last time we played uh, Valorant for like seven hours straight, you were drinking and also mentioned you had a gummy at some point. Or talking about taking one. Oh, see, I don't even remember that night. That's why it seems so rare to me. I just don't fucking <laughs> He fucking blacks out off the gummies and he's like, I've never even done that before. <laughs> Hey, at least I haven't shaved my happy trail. You know what? That is a that's your lowest point. I'm better. <laughs> yeah, whenever you I, fucking get faded and start shaving shit off, that's that's the low point. I wasn't even faded, dude. Back in college, I was just drunk as fuck. Took a razor and shaved my happy trail off for some reason. <laughs> that shit took forever to grow back too. But you know what? I did it because I wanted to prove to myself I was in control of my own body. Are you a woman? The government forcing you to grow your happy trail out? <laughs> Fucking Joe Biden came to my apartment. Now do it or I'll beat your ass. No, he just fucking mumbled. He didn't say a word, but I knew what he meant. You're like, oh shit, you got it, Joe. My bad. I'm Joe Biden. Corn pop! <laughs> back in... Back in soup cans. Soda! <laughs> Obama. I think it's pretty good. 
they have this, uh, they have, uh, Cheetos, mac and cheese, like a buck twenty-four for a box at, uh, Walmart. It's not bad. I just don't believe you. Maybe I'll flip a coin to decide what drugs I take today. Flip two coins, and then just do both anyway. I'll flip. The dime will be for the gummy. If the dime lands on heads, I'll eat a gummy. The quarter will be for uh, the beer. If the quarter lands on heads, I'll drink beer. Oh, you should be like Dude. Dice Man. Yeah. The Dice Man, but with like, heroin. If I roll a one through six, I will shoot up heroin. <laughs> okay. You grab a, like a six-sided die. You just grab a D6, like, all right. I'm pretty sure I've got my, the fucking dice I used back in college for that shit. You used to use dice to decide if you want to do heroin or not? <laughs> going into DSA, I thought that his shield was going to play like a bigger part in, you know, how I approached him. I thought like every other arrow was going to be dinking off of his shield. But it only happened like three or four times. Other than that, the boss wasn't too bad. I got it my first try. I was getting rocked the whole time. I still did it first try, so that counts for something, right? Holy shit, that shot go crazy. I was fucking sick actually, fuck damn it, I'm dead. I just want one.
point blank, it misses. It's crazy. Uh, so one try. It's looking like first try. I like how it's now take the jar plus five. I jar. Take it. Oh, that's so lucky. It's crazy. You see what his name is? Suicide Battery. <laughs> First try. The Twin Princes fight was just insanely frustrating. Because in the second phase, to even attack the younger brother and lock onto him, you have to kill the older brother. So after 40 billion tries of doing that and taking forever, this happened. What the fuck? What? Is he invisible? Oh, he's stuck on the wall. What Here. the fuck is that? It's your time to kill him. Shoot him in the face. I'm so sad. So I figured if he wants to glitch out on me, I'll glitch out on him. That's only fair. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> And just like that, it was time for the final boss. I really thought it was going to give me way, way more trouble than it did, but it only took me around five attempts to get it done. But he jumped 20 feet forward and hit me. Oh no, I'm stuck in a wall. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm dead because what the fuck is this fucking bullshit fight? I dodged. Cool. I got fucking killed because I got stuck on a wall and then I couldn't leave it and then there's magma all over me so I'm just caught trying to move and getting fucking stub blocked over and over and over and over again. Ugh. If I had more strength I'd be able to blast through this.
guy. It's Gwen. Isn't there a comma in his name? No, it's not actually. It's last a long time. Let's just try and see if this works out for us. One more, one more. You're done, kid. Man, <laughs> fuck yeah. Nice, easy peasy. Oh, only poggers. So in conclusion, bow suck. Put him in the trash.